Hi everybody, Dave Stuck here with Rock Tamer's Mud Flap Systems. You clicked here to find out about some more Rock Tamer accessories and we've got two must-haves for you. First off, uh, it, reason, must-have, what do you mean Dave, what are you talking about? Some vehicle manufacturers have exhaust that shoots out the back and we need to keep that under control so that we don't damage our mud flap systems, right? Um, the Duramax, the GM vehicle, has been the uh, most problematic of them all. And so we came up with the RT230, our heat shield, to combat that issue that's going on there. Um, just installs right on the back. Super easy install for you. It comes with all your hardware that you need, complete instructions, so it's, it's uh, easy to do for you. Uh, let me give you a couple quick tips though. What, one, we wanna make sure that the exhaust is centered in the middle here, the exhaust flow. And the reason for that is because if it's centered towards a corner, uh, one of these bolts isn't gonna be able to handle all that heat. We need it to dissipate throughout the entire heat shield. Easiest way to do that is just to wrap your exhaust with a piece of paper and then shoot that back towards the flap itself. And then you'll have uh, that center point right there. A customer had a great idea, even better than the paper for this particular application, was just to put a flashlight in the tailpipe, and then you see that beam of light there, and you know exactly where to put this thing. So that's the, the biggest issue that we see with this one, is just not getting it completely centered. So um, do yourself a favor, get that one centered there, let this one do its job, and it will do a great job for you. So that's the RT230 uh, Rock Tamers Heat Shield. Our second one that we want to talk about today and final one is our RT200. This is the exhaust outlet. It comes in a two-pack, so you get two outlets in there, along with the tool to cut the opening in the mud flap and a template in there. And this is designed primarily for uh, the Dodge vehicles, these uh, Dodge and Rams with the sport trucks that have the dual exhaust shooting straight out the back there. Let me show you. I've got one out of the package. Give you a little bit better uh, view on one that's there. So this is the two-piece unit. And then the biggest thing we see here, a couple tips on this one, is we want the exhaust to flow through this exhaust outlet. We don't want it on the trim. We don't want it above there. We don't want it below there. We want it to go through. And let's just face it, some uh, sometimes vehicles, even though they're identical, when they come off the production line, there's a little bit of difference. Sometimes the exhaust is a little bit higher, a little bit lower, that kind of thing. And one of the things we've seen with this one is, let me move this LED light bar back and I'll show you what I'm talking about, is Customers, it appears at first that you can only mount this in the rubber itself, but you can actually mount it a little bit higher should you need to. And some of those Dodge vehicles have needed it up a little bit higher. And let me give you a close up on that to show you what I'm talking about. So here's a flat clamp and here's the exhaust outlet. You can actually mount this so that it's uh, up a little bit higher and into that flat clamp area. And, and that's totally okay and it works out perfectly. But once again, what we wanna make sure is that exhaust is flowing through the grid and not on this trim, not above it, because we have seen it where if it's not centered, if the exhaust is flowing this way, it'll actually scorch that uh, mud flap. So super easy installs. If you have any questions, please give us a call at, at Rock Tamers Cruiser Accessories. We'll help you out. And uh, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.